Okay, guys and girls, uh, this is a video I've wanted to do for a really long time and just never had the time to do it. But um, uh, since I'm waiting for some parts for some customer builds and everything, I have some time to discuss um, various black powders. I'm not going to discuss these weapons in any detail other than you probably recognize them from one of my other videos. But this is my Ruger Old Army. Uh, one of many that we have in our inventory. This is my personal uh, 7.5 inch 457 caliber uh, totally percussion um, uh, exclusive meaning I don't run conversion cylinders in this one at all. I just run multiple percussion cylinders. Um, now I do run modified uh, nipples and everything that I own. It's either Ampco um, or um, any other variant besides the standard Ruger uh, hex nipples. Now, everybody's been asking me what kind of gunpowder I shoot in my traditional uh, black powder revolvers. Well, the answer is um, anything that goes bang, right? Uh, that's black powder or black powder equivalent. And yes, I've run Swiss and uh, various other uh, true black powders and found them to be extremely uh, dirty, stinky, inefficient. But one of the inquiries I get from a lot of customers is why I still use the pyrodex and also the granulation. I'm going to discuss that. But first of all, there's a misconception that pyrodex was developed by the devil uh, to destroy guns and I'm here to tell you that if you're lazy and don't clean your uh, black powder weapon after every session and I'm not talking about session at the range I'm talking about at the end of the day uh, however I clean all of my weapons I do a field clean and I do at home or at the shop clean so when I get done shooting for the day, I immediately lubricate the barrel, do just one or two pass scrub of the barrel, take the cylinder out, soak the cylinder, fill the cylinders actually full of blisterol or um, any other black powder type cleaner, which is non-petroleum based like TC-13, let it soak in and actually soak through the nipples. So from cylinder through the nipples, push the... Uh, wrap out through the nipples and then I'll reassemble it <clears throat> wrap it up take it home and do a deep clean but let's talk about the powders first of all okay and I have these in order of cleanliness and consistency actually we found that the pyrodex standard RS and yes I shoot the rifle or shotgun FFG granulation in my pistols. Now I don't shoot that granulation in my other cowboy weapons like the Pietas or the Yerbertes, but in the very stout Ruger Old Army or the Colt Walker or Colt Dragoon, we shoot FFG granulation in both Hodgdon Pyrodex and the Select Hodgdon, Hodgdon Pyrodex. Now between these two, I will say there is a big market difference in the Select. The Select uh, smells better, less smoke, and it is, it's about as clean as the American Pioneer. Now, in the Pioneer, I shoot FFG or 3G, 3FG um, powders as well, and I found this. The only problem I have with the American Pioneer, it's not a consistent powder. I mean, I've proven that multitudes of times on the conograph, and no matter how you compress it or don't compress it, some people say don't compress it, that's my problem, use a felt pad, so on and so forth, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, American Pioneer, though, is extremely clean. Uh, it's probably one of the cleanest burning of all these five, but you will not get consistent results. If you're just doing some plinking, want to enjoy black powder, maybe doing a base dial in of mild to heavy loads, use the Pioneer. Now, between all these five, this may surprise you, 
the next to the cleanest, besides Pioneer, with high consistency and reliability, is the Pyrodex Select. Now, if you don't mind a little cleanup, uh, this is sold for free. Uh, it does have a pretty good poof of white when you shoot it, but I found the FFG granulation to be more inefficient in the Hodgton 777 than the 3FG. Um, so this one right here, as far as the 777, I would say this one works best in the cap and balls. So yes, these are the powders that we use. These are not going to destroy your weapon as long as you clean them. Do a field clean before you get home. Uh, do a soak down again of the barrel and of the cylinders. Um, assemble it, package it up, put it away. I normally wrap mine in plastic, put it away, take it home and do an extreme deep clean. And um, I won't clean the trigger mechanisms or the hammer mechanisms until probably after about 150 rounds. Uh, because with as clean burning as some of the caps are and when you're using good nipples, you really don't need to clean the, uh, you don't need to do a takedown of the trigger mechanism is what I'm trying to say. Or a removal of the trigger and hammer. You just don't have to do that until after several hundred um, uh, shots. But there's some people that take them apart every week. Okay, and I'm a fanatic about clean, but I, I push it to about 200 rounds before I do that. So these are the powders I use for the percussion, whether it be, again, the heavy-duty Colt Walker or Dragoon, or the Ruger Old Army. I will use anywhere from uh, 37.5 grains of any of the powders in FFG formulation and about 45 to 50 grains um, of the uh, 3FG powders in these particular pistols. So those are the powders we use and they're all clean burning but the bottom line is the only one that doesn't instantly corrode or begin a corrosion process because of the salts is American Pioneer. These two are probably just as corrosive as standard black powder. So you want to clean your weapons immediately after use. At the end of the day, again, you don't need to clean it after you shoot it. Um, you don't need to clean it within a couple hours, but you need to clean it uh, before that evening is over. Unfortunately, the same is true for Hodgson 777 Sulfur Free. These two I found uh, to be cylinder and barrel pitting if you don't clean that evening. So, again, out of all these powders, American Pioneer is the only one that's going to burn clean and you won't have to worry about immediate salt corrosion, moisture, that type of thing causing a, a corrosion cycle. But uh, either way, just keep your weapons clean clean them right away, clean them the same day. It's not like smokeless powder. You can't wait a couple days or a week or a month. Clean black powder shooting, whether you're using true black powder, the uh, Premier Substitutes or any other substitutes out there, um, you have to clean your weapons, people. Uh, clean them, clean them thoroughly. And to me, uh, cleaning is the enjoyment of shooting uh, black powder, powder nowadays with these substitutes that we have because still the cleanup is a lot easier than black powder. Okay, so if you have any questions on cowboy guns, you need a custom cowboy gun built, tuned, uh, or you need custom leather holsters or rigs, give us a call and we can get you hooked up. If you have a need for a custom cartridge conversion, uh, of your cowboy weapon or you just want a hammer and trigger tune uh, or extensive gunsmithing and customization of your cowboy uh, custom give us a call 833 aim fire that's 833-246-3473 or you can call 731-607-6527 directly to my cell phone and look us up on the web BayouAdvancedWeaponSystems.com 
or simply Google Bayou Advanced Rifles or CBJ Precision Rifles. Uh, we're here to help and we appreciate you dropping by.